Hi, my name is Claire Renzetti from the College of Arts and Sciences and the Center for Research on Violence Against Women, and my research focuses on violence against women, both victimization and perpetration. The very first project that was mine would have been my research for my master's thesis. So that would have been in the 1970s. Actually, at that time, rape crisis centers were fairly new, and we didn't know a lot about the counseling that went on in them. We knew that this was primarily designed for crisis situations, but we didn't really know about how were these counselors trained, what exactly were they talking to survivors about, how were they really helping them. So that's what my research focused on. It was a very eye-opening and, and also I would say rewarding project because I think that the results had an impact on how the counselors were trained ultimately. So I did the very first study of violence in lesbian intimate relationships, and I did that in the 1990s. My book came out in 1992. No one had ever looked at that before. A student of mine, actually, showed me an advertisement for a speak out on lesbian battering, and I thought that that meant hate crimes. So I contacted the organization, because at the time I was on a hate crimes task force, and so I thought it'd be a good thing for me to go to, and contacted the organization, and they said, well, um, no, that's not what that's about. And they told me, I said, well, I study intimate partner violence. Can I come to this anyway? And I went and they were so excited that someone was interested in this. They asked me if I would do a study for them. And I said, well, I don't think that that would be a good idea. No one will talk to me because I'm not a member of the lesbian community and I would be an outsider. And they said, no, that's actually a good thing because everybody knows everybody. So it started out as a small project in Philadelphia and as we realized the interest it grew into a, a national study. I've just always focused on, I suppose, people who are on the margins. So I always felt like in order to really fully understand a project, you need to study groups that are understudied or that maybe don't have a common experience because one size doesn't fit all. If we're gonna remedy a problem, we need to know all the different facets of it. I think the most challenging part of it is to build trust. And, and I always feel like the way to do that is to sort of develop some reciprocity in the relationship, to let them get to know me. I'm asking somebody to tell me really horrible things that happened to them and I'm a total stranger to them. And so they really have a right to know who I am and to ask me questions and to feel comfortable with me. And so when I talk to students who want to study violence against women or some aspect of violent behavior and they want to collect data, I always tell them that the research process is both subjective and objective. The very fact that they've chosen to study this topic is a values-based decision and how they study it is a values-based decision. I tried to tell them to talk about research participants and not subjects. And I try to emphasize not to do what we call drive-by research. You know, go in, get your information, leave, and then you publish it and you get the accolades, but you've left the people who gave you this. And this is your livelihood. You leave them with nothing. You should always contribute something and not assume that, oh, well, you know, it will trickle down. But when I go to, to an organization of practitioners or a nonprofit that serves survivors, someone comes up to me and says, you know, I read such and such a book that you wrote, and it had a tremendous impact on me. I suddenly recognized what was going on in my life, and I sought help. And that's, that's really important to me because ultimately I want to produce knowledge that's usable to people in their everyday lives and, and improves their quality of life. I always tell people who are just coming to UK for the first time, your hardest decision is going to be to decide who you want to work with because there are so many opportunities here to work with people interdisciplinarily and you have to be careful not to say yes to everything because then you get stretched too thin. But I think it's that sense of community that I felt here and I felt like I was welcome and that I belonged. That's a very special part of UK, and I'm re really grateful for that.